let's go ahead and get into the different facets that make this the best flyer. Now, when I first started, it didn't have all these different elements, but as I learned marketing and as I learned things that work with regards to marketing, um, I figured out some different quote IQ is giving away a Ford F-150 to a premium platinum or enterprise subscriber. And if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, give quote IQ a try for free. Just click the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Quote IQ is the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and get paid. The dashboard gives you real time analytics for your business, like your close ratio, sales and expense tracking so that you can stay organized and profitable. So check it out with the links below. So first and foremost, the biggest piece is you should be able to remove any context from this flyer and be able to tell exactly what it is. So if we remove like this bottom half here, clearly from the picture, you can see that uh, this is pressure washing. If I remove the top half, the before and after pictures are pressure washing. And if I remove the top and that, you can see house wash, driveway, and roof wash. And basically why this is, is because when someone sees it within a split second, they're going to be able to make a decision on whether or not this pertains to them or not. And if it's overcrowded with words and it's very difficult to tell what basically is being offered, they're just going to toss it out immediately. So removing any context from it, we should be able to tell exactly what the service is um, and kind of what it is that's being offered. The next thing that's super important about the flyer is you want to have some type of social proofing on it. So people like doing business with businesses that are popular, that do a lot of business, that do great work, things of that nature. So this one has two different types of social proofing. First and foremost, I put up, up here, we just washed your neighbor's house um, just to inform them that, hey, we've been in the neighborhood. We've done a lot of your neighbor's houses. You should go ahead and get your house washed as well. So something simple, something that just infers that uh, we're a popular company company in the area and it would make a lot of sense to go with us. Secondly, our before and after picks are really good. Uh, and that kind of adds to the social proofing kind of it's a good display of what our work is the next thing your flyers should do is do a great job of conveying the benefit of your service and that's another importance of the before and after first and first and foremost they social proof secondly they convey the benefit right because when a customer is making the decision on whether or not you know they want to get their house washed the roof washed or driveway cleaned you know well really what's it going to look like what's it going to feel like um, and what are the reasons why people make buying decisions they need to be able to see the difference that's going to be made uh, whenever they go ahead and opt into the service. And so I'm going to try to get this real close here. As you can see, these are my starkest before and after uh, pictures that I have. They just do a great job of conveying the difference between what it looked like before and what it's going to look like once we're done. So next, as we move down the flyer, you're going to notice a call to action here. So 20% off when you call or text today. A big mistake that I see a lot of people making with their flyers is they don't put an end date to the call to action. So it's important for us to give the person a reason to call us immediately. And so essentially, we just did your neighbor's house. It turned out like this. And if you call us today, if you call or text us today, you're going to get 20% off your cleaning. So as you guys can see, it kind of flows. It kind of is like the way you're reading it, the way the way you're looking at the flyer, it's now flowing into, hey, this is the service your neighbors got. It's 20% off when you call or text today. But you need an offer. It doesn't necessarily have to be 20%. It could be 10%, could be 5 could be 15 doesn't matter. But you need to have an offer, and it needs to end. You could put a week on there. You could say 20% off for the next 30 days. You just want to have an end date to when this offer is going to expire to give them a reason to call you and not to be like, oh, wow, this is a great flyer. Let me go ahead and put it in my drawer, and I'll call them, you know, next summer whenever I think about it. So the call to action is incredibly important. Then, of course, we have our different services here, house wash, driveway, uh, roof wash, and then we have our call or text uh, for your free estimate. So the last piece that I want to talk to you guys with regards to the flyer is notice how I only have one way for them to contact me. Call or text me for your free estimate. I don't have an email on there. I don't have a website for them to visit. I don't have a Facebook page for them to go check out because I don't want to confuse them. I don't want to put too many things in the way for them to have to make decisions. I want everything to be a seamless process from the time they look at the time Top of the flyer all the way to the bottom. We service your neighbor's house. This is how it came out. 20% off when you call or text today. Here's the number. Give us a call. As you can see, it just works top from bottom to convey a message to the customer and as quickly as possible without them having to make any decisions whatsoever. So I advise you guys only put one way to contact you. Don't put multiple ways. Don't put websites. Don't clutter your flyer with too many words because then your customer is going to get lost. And now they just went from, you know, I could get my driveway clean to there's four different ways to contact this person. I don't know which one I should go with.